What's up everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck gameplay for you guys today and today we're gonna do Hogwarts Legacy again But this time we're gonna go into the town because I feel like that's probably the hardest place to run Still gonna do the foresty areas too as soon as I get there But I just got to the town a little while ago like a day ago Well, no, it was two days ago, but then I decided screw it taking the weekend off just have some fun Can't always make videos all the time no matter what everybody needs a little time off So weekends are usually for me to just play games hang out with friends watch anime just play video games you know what have you but anyway I did end up getting on my steam deck to the uh, little city area so I stopped right there saved and just left it there which is really hard because I was having a lot of fun up until I got that point so it was really fucking hard to stop but I did that for you guys so you guys could see how it runs on everything in town so without wasting any more time I'll just explain what we're doing now this time we're not gonna sit here and go through every conceivable setting like we did in the first video we've already pretty much done that so we're just gonna test my settings out and see if it can maintain that 30 FPS while walking around in town without dropping down to like 20 FPS every two steps. If it's gonna do that, then we're just gonna have to fuck with the settings again and, and come up with some new settings then. And then we'll get some screen recorded and camera gameplay of that. But if my settings just work, we'll just get some screen recorded gameplay of that and some camera recorded gameplay after that. Now, one thing I should explain is, for me, a game is playable as long as it's not like stuttering every two fucking feet. So if I'm like running through the town and then it's like, oh, drop down to 25. All right, take three more steps, drop down to 25. Take three more steps, drop down to 25. 522 that shit pisses me off but if i'm running around at 30 99.9 percent .9 of the time and every once in a blue moon it'll drop down to 26 or 27 just for a split second it's annoying but that doesn't really bother me i've pretty much just accepted that's just how video games are now because devs are lazy and can't do anything properly because well it's not that they can't do anything properly i think they usually just have their higher up people going go 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 shit this thing out get that thing out in three weeks i don't care if it's not done we need money that's kind of what i imagine happens could be very wrong but that's kind of what i've always imagine happens. Anyway, why don't we get this guy hooked up to our capture computer and go run around in town for a little bit. And then we'll do the same thing at 1080p on the laptop and 1440p and the same thing on the desktops too. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Well, all right guys, let's go ahead and look at the settings. We're going to lock this up at 30 FPS on the Steam Deck and we're leaving it on the settings that we had it on in the last game. And if they don't work, We'll just tone them down a little bit. And then if you guys like these settings better than my my settings I do later, if I have to redo them later, you guys can always come back and just copy these guys. It's a mixture of medium and low, except for texture. I wanted that on high because that looked really nice. Everything under high looked a little, little lame, but that's just me. So let's get into the game, shall we? Well, now here we are in the game. Let's start running around and seeing how the frames do. Well, we're dropping down a little under 30 already, down like 29. Down to 23 for a second there, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to tone these settings down, probably. This doesn't seem very smooth. Though, there might be nothing I can do about it. This might just be how this place is on the Steam Deck, but I have to do my dil due diligence and at least try to change the settings and get a little bit more FPS more consistently. But. Let's just see, run around a little more and see if it smooths out or something. Maybe it just does that once and pre-caches everything in. Some games are like that. Down at 28 again, which I don't really mind every once in a blue moon, but if it's gonna be doing that like all the time, that's gonna be annoying. Because that's what Elden Ring does. Elden Ring would also drop down under 30 every once in a while, but for the most part, it was a solid 30, so I didn't really care that much. There'd be just be certain places, like if I went to a foresty area, for example, or a place with lots of, uh, what you would call it, rot, or poison, or lava, anything like that that had a lot of texture that moved, that kind of tanked the FPS a little too. Sometimes down even 26, 25, but... Luckily, I didn't stay around those areas too long. And also, being all blown up like this, being screen recorded at 1080p also makes it look a lot worse than it actually looks on the screen. But you'll see that once we get to the camera gameplay. But I think we should probably go back down here a little bit and then move on and tone the settings down. So. This time, 
We're still at 30 FPS limited on the Steam Deck. I'm keeping it on FSR 2 quality because you can't not have FSR, but yet anything under FSR quality starts looking really, really bad. I mean, FSR already kind of ruins hair a little bit, but it is what it is. I'd rather have the FPS. I'm not just staring at my character's hair the whole time. But we turned a bunch of stuff down to low. That was on medium, but I left the texture on high because, like I said, it just looks quite a bit worse without that being on high. But that's just me. You could probably get a couple more FPS if you tone that down to medium, too. But let's go see how it does now. Well, now let's run around with some new so the new settings here and we still like I, I thought we still gonna drop under 30 a little bit here and there but hopefully not as much but if it's gonna be just as bad then we'll just run around a little bit and we'll probably just conclude that the other settings were just fine because it doesn't seem to do any better with these you know yeah it really doesn't seem to be too much better does it yeah I'm probably gonna just go back to the settings I had. It still drops in about the same areas to about the same frame rates. But at the same time, in other areas it does seem a little smoother, but I don't know. It's not like the settings look that much worse. I think it's mostly that high texture quality helping it out. Especially in the, like the floors of the freaking place. That and you can still see the textures of the stone and all that. I like that. Once you take it off of high, you can't really see that as much. Like, yeah, you can still tell it's stone and everything, but if you get up close to it, you can't tell all the cool features it has. I just like little things like that. And if I'm going to be stuck at around 30 ish FPS anyway, why not have at least a little eye candy and not just be limited to like esports mode? Esports mode with low FPS, which is not a fun mode. So we'll just keep running around a little bit. I guess this isn't so bad. This might be a hair smoother than my settings that were I started with. Now that I'm actually walking around all over the place. But you guys can make that conclusion yourself by watching the two different uh, the two different tests. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing on the laptop once we get to that. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? and try, and just with the laptop, try to just mess with the settings if we have to, but we'll leave them alone first, like, and just have them be the same settings that we had in the last video. Huh, there's a well. Well, I never. And I'm actually kind of surprised. The Steam Deck definitely handles this game a lot better than a lot of other games I've tried. On, that's for sure. That's fucking right. I got a field page. I would jump down there, but probably would get hurt. I don't know what my limit to falling in this game is. Hmm. All right, well, that answers my question if I can go in the water and not die. Although I can't remember a game that I died in the water besides uh, Grand Theft Auto. I did Grand Theft Auto 3 not too recently, but that won't be coming out for you guys until a little later. But I forgot you die when you go in the water, so I drove a fucking car in there, and I was like, wasted? What? What the fuck? And I'm like, oh, yeah, old school GTA. You used to die if you went in the water. I think San Andreas was the first time that you could, like, go in the water. I could be wrong. Maybe Vice City started it, but I'm almost positive it was 
San Andreas. Hmm, you can skip rocks too. How cool. All right, we'll just run around a little bit more here and then end up back where we started and move on to camera after that. Floating water in cans. All right, let's start heading back towards the starting point underneath this little tress up here. All right, now Sometimes let's move on to camera, shall we? Well, all right, guys. Let's run around the town a little on camera now. And as you saw, we still do drop under 30 here and there. But this town is really, really hard on your computer. I mean, look at the CPU cores. Everything is like mm, tr doing pretty fucking high. We're in the 60s and 70% on all, all cores, and we're at 80 to 90 to 100% CPU utilization. So it seems like we still have, since we have FSR on, we're bottlenecking it a little bit, but it can't quite handle 40 at these settings. For 40, you'd have to like basically turn everything down to low, and then you'd have to turn FSR on to performance. And if you did all that, it would probably stay 40-ish, but it would do what it does here. It would still drop down under 40 every once in a while, so that's still an option for people who do want 40. Just know it's not going to be a constant 40, just like this isn't a constant 30. But most of the time it's 30, so I'm pretty happy. Like, see how I'm running right here? It's fucking 30 a majority of the time. It's not doing that shit where it's stuttering every one foot, or every one step I take, you know? I went down that path anyway, I don't care. Got some flowers getting watered by a water flower thing. No, no, this is still a cool town though, but it is definitely hard to run. I can definitely see why people want people to test here and not just in Hogwarts. Another watering can. Ah, he's a very posh businessman. Off to do a business of business. And this game definitely sucks down the battery power on the Steam Deck no matter what you do, since even at 30 FPS it's running itself really hard. You're only gonna get like an hour and 30 minutes to maybe two hours. So, for a game like this, you're going to have to bring your charger with your or battery pack if you want to stay topped up, I think. But then again, I didn't really buy this thing to sit there and play AAA titles for like six hours on end. I just got this thing for travel and to chill in my bed at night and chill and sleep before getting sleepy and just play some ch silly games like my fairy tale games, all my anime RPGs. Stuff like that that runs really well on here. I could just have 60 or 40 FPS and just be like completely content. It never drops frames, you know? Still though, I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this game. Haha, I jumped in the water. At least I can get hurt. Hop, hop, hop.
Hmm, there's like a house down here. What's down here? I don't think we've been over here yet. Unfortunately, I had to put the view distance on, on low, so there's a lot of pop in now, but those are things you gotta deal with if you want to game on the Steam Deck sometimes. But I'm actually pretty surprised with this game. At least this game is playable. Forspoken was hardly playable without looking like a PS2 game. So this is how you do an open world right, honestly. Now, I haven't done enough magic combat to know which one I like better, but... I like the story and graphics and everything else about this game better. I'll have to wait and get into more combat and see how I like that. Because the combat in Forspoken wasn't horrible. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is the most advanced thing I've ever seen, either. It was just kind of alright. That's its one passing-ish grade. Everything else was a failure. And that's why it's already not getting talked about and no one cares because this game's out now. And Hi-Fi Rush pretty much already was owning it in the face prior, before this game came out. But alright. Let's, uh, let's head back to our little starting point and wrap it up, I think. Yeah, right around here in the very square of town is the part where we seem to get the most drops under 30, it seems. Other than that, though, it seems to be pretty good. Yeah, we drop down 25 around there every time, too, I've noticed. Don't know what it is about that place, but obviously it's just really hard for the thing to run right back there. So yeah, right around here seems hard to run, too. Either that or it just had to load in and that's when it stutters, but as you can see, there's random spots where we just get lots of little frame time skips. So it's still not a smooth 30 FPS, even though it says it's getting 30 FPS. Sometimes it seems all roads but like the meet. at the same time, it's still very, very playable. It's not like it sits here and bothers me. I could sit here and play this game until that thing ran out of batteries in an hour and I'd still have fun. But... Anyway, though, I think that's plenty of gameplay here for the camera, so why don't we go and wrap this video on up now so I can move on to the Asus G15 Advantage. Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Hogwarts Legacy here in Hogsmeade, and we definitely had to tone the settings down just a smidgen more, but still looked pretty good because I refused to give up my high texture quality. Like, no matter what, as soon as you turn that down to medium, the game starts looking pretty bad, and it already looks pretty bad with FSR on, so I didn't want to make it look any worse. Really wished I didn't have to use FSR at all, but this game just will not get 30 FPS, no matter what setting you put it on without it, so that is the only way. So that's what it's for, though. If you absolutely have to, use it rather than not playing the game anyway but still more than playable enough for me i'm not expecting it to max the game out get 120 fps on my steam deck so as long as it can get 30 ish and not just always be at like under 30 here it's still stuttered here and there don't get me wrong but it didn't do so so much so that it pissed me off silly kitty anyway so that's about all i got for you guys for this particular game though so now it's time for us to go and move on to asus <laughs> the asus g15 advantage so why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up so we can get to the asus g15 advantage so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you and until the next and until the next video Peace out guys